how to hit your potential as a man in this economy that forces you to start at the bottom and work up because we have a monetary system in place and um, other forces depending on uh, what country you live in what state city certain laws of the region that you're born in the culture you're born in the family circumstance um, you're given a hand in life like a deck of cards you're given what hand you're given and so you have to make sense of that hand so going off the example of the United States of America where they uh, make you go to high school and then um, really persuade you to go to college and kind of have that narrative of well what are you gonna do without a degree so just going off that general example uh, you know the kid 14 to 18 high school 18 to 22 college so you're coming out of college with uh, a lot of times a bunch of debt and not still not sure about what you want to do I mean you declared your major maybe like sophomore year you're like 19 or 20 well like who at 19 or 20 is gonna be nuanced enough to not only know what they want to do but um, who they are themselves or even if they want to do that and they know that's what they want to do but other forces of the economy that maybe even keep that job from making money or it's just it's not feasible it's there's no monetary value in it but they weren't given this information they didn't think it through or they they chose the major at like 19 or 20 and then they're 25 now and they're just older they're more mature they have a more sophisticated understanding of what they want out of life and now it doesn't line up with the major that they chose but they have this college debt uh, they have to start at the bottom they have to go seek out a job seek out an employer so how do you as a man hit your full potential in an economy like this that makes you go to these schools and then you come out um, into the world starting at the bottom where other guys that have been in the game longer have companies and businesses and uh, assets and money over time whereas you're this guy that went high school 14 to 18 and then college 18 to 22 you're coming out at 22 um, possibly with all that school debt and not really sure what you want to do where you have to start at the bottom of the ladder so to speak so um, to really hit your full potential as a man um, one thing you have to do you have to embrace starting from zero you have to embrace starting from scratch. You have to get yourself to this nirvana state where um, there is no winner or loser. There is no hierarchy. There is no better man or worse man, right? There's not um, a difference between the janitor of a company and the CEO of a company. And that's just basic social skills that you need to develop to really hit your full potential. And everyone gets there at different points. And depending on their personality, their genetics, their spiritual path, what they were exposed to. And so um, one kid might be at a certain place with things at like 14, where it takes the other kid till 24 for that concept to finally click. And there's nothing um, right or wrong with that. It's just the way that life plays out. So um, first of all, no rush on whatever track you're on or like where you should be by a certain age or a certain point according to someone else's perspective. But um, really get into that nirvana state of being okay starting from zero, being okay with starting at the bottom of the ladder, right? It's like going to high school and you start as a freshman, you work your way up. It's like, oh, we're the seniors now. Go to college, well, you're the freshman again at the bottom. Work your way up, oh, we're the seniors now. Now you're in the world and you're at the bottom again. And so people have this uh, um, hard time uh, to see themselves in a context that's different than what they thought a previous part of their life was. Like, uh, oh, I've, I've been used to going to college for four years, 18 to 22, my parents paid for everything, all I did was party, so I'm just going to come out of college with this degree, uh, and then um, now because I'm in a company where I'm not just like the guy having fun, or like I don't have parents paying for me, I have to actually do something in a context with other people and work, now I feel bad or depressed because I'm like, I'm, I'm not the top of what I thought I was in college. Like, you just can't, you gotta get out of that that thinking. You gotta see people eye to eye level, um, not get into the own, your own like hierarchy about where you stand. And the, the better that you can um, break away from those um, thought patterns, and the more that you're able to do it, the easier you'll have, um, the easier time you'll have climbing in this world, in this economy. You need to get to that nirvana state with anything you're doing, like starting a YouTube channel. Um, people trip themselves up because it's like, I don't have this many subscribers or um, I, I'm starting at zero subscribers, but it's like, yeah, well, a anything starts at zero subscribers. So like, you need to know at zero, you need to be in that nirvana state where there is no winner, there is no loser, there is no better person, right? You're just the person and there is, you have to kind of like, um, focus more, I guess, on the 
present moment than to just uh, dwell on the past or be anxious about the future because the past and the future don't really exist because all you have is this one moment. So it's like, oh, well, I don't have this many subscribers, so I won't start my channel. Well, it's like everything has zero at one point. So just start the channel. Just be in the present moment of the channel. You're writing a book. Um, you can't just see the other author already with a published book and then think that you haven't done it yet. It's like, well, yeah, you have to write one letter before you write one word. You have to write that one word before one sentence. You have to write that one sentence before one paragraph. You have to write that one paragraph before a page. You have to write that page before a chapter, that chapter before a book, and so on. And so for you, um, as a man, that might be, uh, hey, to, an, to a friend or family member or whatever, like, I can't hang out, I'm working on stuff, you know? like. The other person that you know, they read a book in their life, you're writing a book, you know? So it's like, so you just got to know when to um, kind of uh, have those relationships, but then like cut ties with those relationships at the right moment so that you can focus on yourself and that you can do things for you. Um, you know, so don't let someone who's like been reading books their whole life, you know, they, they uh, pride themselves on being an active learner and they're very educated because they read like a novel a week or something. Well, if you're writing one and they don't get your, your goals, your vision, your dream, well, it's like, okay, so you just read someone else's, right? You just read a book, but so a lot, you got to understand a lot of people just, they're not going to get it, right? Like you're in that group, like I said, like a family or a friend and you're just like the group that like your show is on TV at this day in the week at this certain time so you guys always watch it together or you meet with this group at a bar because you're all off on Friday or Saturday and so when you're just like hey like I I'm not like hanging out going forward I'm like working on this book they don't get it it's like oh you're like breaking relationships you're like trying to make a change you're trying to assume you're better you know just like get out of that you know so prioritize prioritizing your time is huge too so if um, maybe if you don't have the money to do something or you don't think you do actually look at what you spend your money on so if you're um, working like a Monday through Friday job and say your entertainment budget um, is a hundred dollars a week like uh, you work Monday through Friday you go have your fun Friday and Saturday night and say that's a hundred dollars every week well um, if you think you don't have money to do things in the future have fun one night a week and make the other night um, your like work on yourself day or like your weekend days or Saturday Sunday use one as the fun day one as a day for you so instead of spending a hundred a week on your entertainment budget spend 50 a week on your entertainment budget so 50 a week uh, 200 a month 2400 a year uh, in 10 years $24,000 I mean if you're young you could do a lot with that that's um, a bunch of uh, months for rent or it's like the lease on a building for a business or it's like the um, the the startup money for a business or um, just a cushion so you can just kind of be financially secure for a bit and breathe a little bit um, it can be whatever invest it you know uh, just try things knowing that you have a budget to try things so it's like getting yourself in the state of understanding um, time up the ladder so like in your 20s like I said coming out of high school coming out of college you're 22 maybe you got some school debt or whatever or maybe you didn't go to college but you're still just 22 starting at the bottom you know going um, to job interviews maybe you're looking on Craigslist for a job trying to get connections doing what you can to um, provide in the world but don't just look at your current state and think that you can't grow or like um, you're 22 and you're taking a girl out on a date and then later she's with somebody else and it, you just get devastated but it's like dude like other guys can offer other things and um, that's the way it is so like don't take it so personally kind of take a step back and look things look at things more objectively and put the focus on you so it's like yeah maybe you're starting at the bottom now at 22 out of college but then you work up to a point where you're not at the bottom you're a little higher on the ladder and then from there you're a little higher on the ladder and there's no uh, age that's like too late to start something that you know that's I hate hearing that too like old people that get down on themselves and depressed it's like well I'm 70 I can't like go to my uh, dream vacation now like it well, it's like you, you say that when you're dead you know if, you, if you're up and breathing and you if you have the ability to search something into a YouTube uh, channel and like watch a video then you're you're up and you're moving and you're alive and your limbs are doing things and you have sensory perception so if you have that perception to even understand the content of a video then you there, you're not like there's no too late for anything but you got to understand that to like really hit your potential as a man you're trying to make money you're trying to come up you're trying to do what you need to do well the other guy's trying to do that too 
So there's a karma to it. There's like a 50-50, there's a balance. And you don't have to believe in karma on a spiritual level. I do, and um, that's a topic for another video. But even if you're the kind of person that says, well, the karma is just new agey, it's not real. Well, think about it on a practical sense. If you go out here and you just tell a guy, hey man, like I hate you, just randomly on the street, that's just like a negative energy. Like, why would he work with you? Why would he ever spend anything on you? Why would he deal with you? Why would he uh, respect your business? But if you just go up to someone and say, hey, good morning, or how's your day? That just like puts them in a positive state. Maybe they go back home now feeling a little better and they put someone else in a positive state. So it all expands on itself. So like, so like, yeah, you coming up in the world, like I said, starting at the bottom, this is where a lot of guys go wrong because like they're in their 20s and in one context, like, oh, they uh, their parents were paying for everything in high school and college. So they had this uh, just like chill time of chill life, but they don't want to start at the bottom of a company at 22, working with other people, being okay with someone else's promotion, maybe have to, have to do something for someone else, letting someone else climb, or maybe you want to uh, work your own business or you own your own business. Well, so does the other guy. So in your young years, maybe work the other guy's business, help him succeed. And when you get old, Older, other people will help your progress and your endeavors. It's all that 50-50, that balance.